Portfolio Builder members, today is June 6th. The market has just closed. We'll start off with the review of all three portfolios. We're having a great week. Then we'll look at the top news and charts of all the stocks and ETFs that we're trading. This is our basic portfolio. It requires that you can purchase 100 shares of the SPY ETF. Now, as you can see from our trade alert on 6.05, that was yesterday, our portfolio was sitting at a 6.84% return with the $36,725 profit and it has jumped to $43,865. And the trade was to sell to open the June 7, 2019 284 call option. And you can see the trading price when we issued this alert was 281.24. So we sold the covered call almost $3 higher and took a credit of 49 cents. Now the, the, the good news is the underlying asset is now trading much higher. So you can see it traded as high as 285.50 today and closed at 284.78. So it is up $3. However, to buy back the call option we sold for 49 cents, we'll lose a dollar. So we're up $2 again per share of the SPY. And we also did this on the Friday to Monday trade alert and the Monday to Wednesday trade alert. So we've been on a roll. Now again, if we sell our covered call for a small credit and then buy it back for a larger debit, we're gonna lose on the covered call, but that is great, great news. Every time that happens, your underlying asset has generated a huge profit for you. So look for a trade alert tomorrow for the basic members on how to cover that position and where we're going to write our next covered call to go from this Friday to Monday. Now our diamond level membership just had its highest profit in a single day in its entire history. You can see that when we issued the trade alert Tuesday, we were sitting at a 10% return. The trade alert was to cover our defensive covered calls. They had protected us against some of the downturn in May, but to be completely honest with you guys, we did lose a little bit in the Diamond Club uh, over the month of May. Now we did outperform the SPY ETF, so with a more concentrated portfolio of higher yielding stocks, bigger dividends, bigger yields on the covered call, we were able to reduce the loss of May substantially and in a single 48 hour period add two percentage points to our total portfolio. The trade alert was simply to cover the covered call which was a big profit on the covered call but there was some losses on the underlying asset and to go long the equities and we're expecting to run this all the way until the G20 meeting when Trump is saying he's going to decide on tariffs with China around this period. So most likely we've got two weeks of, of great upside potential ahead. And we'll take a look at some of the charts uh, from Tuesday morning when we gave the call to just go along the equities and we can see which ones are delivering the biggest gains so far. Right now they're still kind of slacking so I do expect to see uh, a lot bigger jump between now and next Tuesday where we may just let these positions ride but we'll have to see. If it goes up too much we'll start locking in some of our profits. But again, this portfolio is for diamond memberships. It requires $150,000 to follow. It simply buys the top positions the SPY ETF uh, buys for you. So it looks at the top eight positions in the SPY ETF. And then instead of buying the SPY, we buy those exact companies that the SPY fund buys for you. Now let's take a look at our whale club. This was the trade alert put out today to go long Google and Amazon with a very interesting covered call that's hedged with a put option. So we're writing a covered call that expires next Friday and a long put option that expires not this coming Friday but the following Friday. So we have longer duration on the put option but it's further out of the money and so this portfolio jumped 11.38% from 7.6. Uh, but the 
the actual return will be a lot less than that. We're actually trying to return about half a percent per week, which if you invest $300,000, which is how much it will cost to buy 100 shares of Google and Amazon right now, if you can safely return half a percent per week, 52 weeks a year, that turns into $38,827, which is a 29% return. So let's take a look at the trade alert we issued today, which is doing very well so far. And I'll show you how the current trade is set up to have a defensive play that can generate exactly 0.5% uh, week over week, or potentially more if the right circumstances occur. Now, this is a program that is only available to our Whale Club members. If you're on a free trial for our product right now, you won't get these trade alerts, so you won't know exactly what we're doing, but it trades at noon on Thursdays. If you do upgrade to a basic level membership, we throw in a free 30-day trial to our Diamond Club, as well to our whale club so that you can figure out which program makes the most sense for you there's no overlap in any of our different trading strategies so if you like you can divvy up your cash a third into the spy a third into the diamond portfolio and another third into the whale club if you have enough capital or you can jump from one strategy to the next as different opportunities arise as you know, we've been patiently waiting to buy Google and Amazon for a long time. And we were saying that we'd wait for a 30 plus VIX, uh, but with all the news coming up, I believe this is a great setup right now. And there have been some antitrust probes looking specifically at Google and Amazon that has created a large sell-off relative to the market and created a very lucrative covered call opportunity for Google and Amazon right now. Plus, we have this two-week grace period uh, going into this G20 meeting that I think will make this a very lucrative few weeks to get into this. And if the trade war rhetoric escalates, we're actually set up to do very well in a sudden crash if this U.S. trade war really goes ballistic. So the trade alert today, if we take a look at it, was on Google. You'll need 100 shares of Google and 100 shares of Amazon. Uh, and we can look at those two charts. Obviously, there's plenty of room. They could fall farther. That's why we want to play it relatively safe. Uh, but the combination of trades is to sell to open a covered call that's in the money. And so that's this first trade up here. And what's important to note is that we're agreeing to sell our shares for approximately a $6 loss at the time of opening the trade. We're agreeing to a 1032.50 strike while the last trading price, which you can see right here in the screenshot, was 1038. So the difference is $6. The credit we're receiving is 1960. So we have a $13 profit on this covered call going into it. So we don't need to make that kind of profit per week to do well with Google, which is a company I love to hold for the long term. And so we're taking around half, just a little bit over half of the profit that this covered call could generate if the market went up. And we're investing it in a put option that has twice the duration of our in the money covered call. And the idea is that come next Thursday, we will sell this put option. It will either be for a loss, a break even, or potentially a big gain. If the market goes higher, most likely we will lose the majority of that put option, but whatever's left over is extra profit that's not even calculated uh, into that half a percent we're trying to achieve per week. Now, if Google were to crash towards this $1,005 level or lower, we get into a situation where our covered call could be losing money, although, of course, we'll cover that covered call and sell a new one right away. So if this does ever get into a panic mode, we will issue an emergency alert to cover the call option we've sold for a big profit and just sell a new one at an even lower strike. So we will be trying to make the top half of this trade profitable all on its own. But 
if things do get really hairy and there's a gap down one morning, this put option that we've buy to own the June 21st, 2019 could really pay off. And that could double, triple, quadruple very quickly if we get close to that level or below. So it's a safe trade. It generates a nice profit with multiple outcomes. Market can go higher. We do fine. Market can go flat. We do a little bit better. Market can go slightly down. We do even better. Uh, the worst area for us will be right below the credit we've required. Uh, we've collected. So between 1010 and 1005 is probably our most vulnerable range. We could lose money on this trade, but if we go below 1005, then the put option starts to pay off big time. So that's kind of the look at this trade. This is something we can repeat over and over again while the volatility is high and the option premium is ripe. Now, once this uh, profit ratio becomes less rewarding, we will get out of the trade, obviously. The Amazon setup is very similar. If you look at the last trading price right here, it's 1734 and the strike was 1720. So we're agreeing to a $14 loss, but we're taking a credit of $36. So it gives you a $22 profit and we're giving back $12 of that profit for a put option. And so again, we have this range between these two strikes where we're vulnerable between 1720 and 1655 is the area of weakness in this trade alert. Uh, but below that, we're very safe. So the setup uh, allows you to profit if we go up, nothing to worry about. Absolute profit built into the trade. This one's slightly more profitable to the upside than the Google trade. Um, if we go flat, we make a little extra. If we go slightly down, we make a little extra. If we trade between those two strike points, that could be where we potentially lose some money. And after the 1655 strike, uh, our put option becomes very profitable once again. So very good defensive strategy for the whale club. And uh, over time, this can be a very profitable, repetitive trading strategy. So we'll continue this trade on Thursday next week. And again, we'll roll over the covered call buy back the put option that we've purchased or rather sell it and then write a new one and roll this whole strategy over week over week over week and if i thought for some reason the trade war was over or delayed and that we th should just buy and hold google and amazon uh, like the diamond program is doing that could be a potential outcome the whale club is designed to be a more conservative opportunistic trading strategy that takes advantage of around $300,000 of capital. While the diamond program only requires $150,000, it's going to be a little more aggressive than the basic program or the whale program. So it's going for the big returns, playing these top positions in the SPY. Of course, we have removed the very expensive Google and Amazon out of the diamond. That makes it a lot more affordable to build that portfolio. And the basic product will be conservative. In a free fall, this one will lose the least and just make its boring returns. It's had a very good week, uh, but these returns that we've made this week are abnormally high for this program. All right, let's take a look at some charts now. <clears throat> the Mexico trade talks seem to be doing well. We also had a note about China being willing to increase imports again. Of course, we've heard that before. I think that Bitcoin's at a pivotal, a pivotal point right here. If the trade war de-escalates, look out below. Uh, if tariffs get removed, look out below. Bitcoin could easily crash. The Fed could raise rates. Stocks go higher. Bitcoin goes lower. That sort of outcome. Now, if trade war escalates, then I think we got another big push. And because our portfolio only has 5% of its assets in the top cryptocurrencies, we're okay holding onto it as a good insurance play. Now, the second we do have clarity on this, we will tell you when to take a profit. But uh, for the time being, we have to assume that the trade war is going to continue to escalate. If Trump's gonna make a move, it needs to be now. He really doesn't have time to fool around. And so I suspect um, I suspect that it's going to escalate in the next few weeks. 
So we're looking at Ethereum, looking at the US China currency conversion rate. This is the big move up from 6.7 to 6.9 that scared a lot of Chinese into Bitcoin. And so they know what's up as well. And that's why we need to pay close attention to that for predictions on crypto. Commodities up big today. There's a big relief in everything. Stocks flying up. Gold continues to hammer up. Lumber has a little bounce up today. Treasury bonds continue to crash but remain the most attractive rate around the world in terms of the major economies. Job cuts are starting to creep up and the new jobs are slowing down. So that's becoming uh, definitely alarming. Progress on Mexico is the news of the evening. Here's a look at the SPY. So we have been bullish to SPY this week, and that has paid off very well after uh, actually generating a profit through the pullback in May, which was exciting. TLT in our whale program, we have a half a percent of our portfolio split between the TLT and the LQD with some put options. So we're starting to see this bond market roll over the TLT. Um, of course, we've got Drunken Miller predicting it will go much higher. And so he's thinking it will go back to this 143 level or higher, which means uh, rates have farther to fall. And certainly if the trade war does escalate, stocks dump, most likely one more big push into treasuries. That makes sense. Um, but then after that, look out below when everybody sells their treasuries, realizing uh, that they're not going to make them any money for 10 years. Look at China at large cap, South Korea, one of the best leading indicators. So it looks like it's bottomed out and potentially ready for a run up until we get, you know, 300 billion in new tariffs announced in two weeks. Here's our high yield program for the Diamond Club today, just the gains on each stock. And I think this is just the start of this for the next two weeks, most likely. Look at Apple, and again, we went long with no covered call on June 4th on this whole portfolio. And Bank of America popping, Comcast uh, flat, Cisco up considerably since we went long. Facebook starting to recover from all the negativity lately, Microsoft recovering very rapidly. One of our core positions in the diamond, our largest position and the largest position in the SPY ETF. Wells Fargo finally giving us some action. We've been uh, patiently waiting on that guy all year. Trade war stocks looking good. Google having a great day. So again, we have limited upside profit on Google, but the half a percent return per week is what we'd like to generate when we're uh, taking on this risk with the covered call strategy, especially that's hedged to the downside so aggressively. Uh, so when we put on the trade, if Google can pop up way above those prices, we can sleep well for the rest of the week and then just get into the same trade the next week. It's only if Google starts to crash that we'll want to carefully monitor uh, taking profits on the call option we sold and potentially moving that covered call strike lower and or taking profits on the put option we bought if we think that uh, it's been a quick extreme move. So here's some different looks at Google, five day, one month, three month, one year, five year, 10 year. Oh, now here's the Amazon. Uh, Amazon's the same setup, a little more bullish, so there's a little bit pro higher profit margin on this trade setup. It's exactly the same. And so it was nice to get the bounce right after we did the trade. Now we have a little less to worry about until next Thursday and the 10-year look at Amazon. These are two companies we love to trade long-term in the whale club, uh, especially when volatility is high and the call options become overpriced. That's when we want to sell those. 
Deutsche Bank keeping a close eye on that. If that puppy goes down, it could spell trouble for the total market. So if you'd like to never miss a trade alert in the future and upgrade, call Dean right now. He can save you a lot of money over the phone versus the prices that are at the bottom of all our emails. His phone number is 505-322-7515. He can get you into the basic program, the diamond program, or the whale program. So give him a call and let's get you started. Thanks again for your time and look for a new trade alert tomorrow for the basic program.